to Potato Point. Uh, the weather looks like a little bit of a mixed bag, but uh, anyway, we're gonna see what unfolds as we go. We're just coming into Potato Point and there are kangaroos everywhere. Gotta be careful driving. So it's um, 7.45 p.m. and we've just arrived at Beachcomber Holiday Park at Potato Point. If only we were an hour earlier because the sun's just about to drop. Anyway, I'll probably show you more in the morning. Oh, it's such a shame it's not lighter because the drive-in is spectacular. <music> cool this is the camp kitchen and somebody had booked and had a pizza earlier so um, you have to book you can buy the dough for four dollars from reception and they have rolling pins and flour everything you need to make your pizza that's, amazing. that's fantastic nice and warm. yeah lovely maybe hard to see but this is our spot right on the beach or oh, overlooking the beach I should say we're just getting our fire started each other they're looking at each other I'll try and get closer to mum she's so cute well, not mum I mean bub look at this Whoop. now they go up into the tree they've been eating the colistamon which is that flower there
So there's um, fire pits scattered around, some that you share. That one's site 60. I love those trees behind. The fire with the one next to you. Great park. Beautiful. So this one here is number one and it's pretty awesome. Uh, got the trees looking out to the beach but you do have some garbage bins so summertime might be a little bit stinky uh, so yeah one and then it works its way back along the um, beach front and I think from about five you've got a clear view of the beach anyway we're just going for a little walk up here through the scrub to the lake Okay, so the lake is down there. I'm not sure whether to go that way or this way. Yeah. Just decided to um, walk this way and hopefully it links up with the beach and we can walk back to camp. Just waiting for our Steve's beautiful sister and husband to spend the weekend with us. Yes. Yeah, so I'm not sure how much content I'm going to share, but I just wanted to capture a little bit of where we are because there's not much on YouTube actually about Potato Point. It's all um, very old footage. So we've just come down the end of that dirt track and yeah, there's a lovely little spot here. You can have a picnic, catch some flathead. And now we're just gonna go and try and find the beach. little unit that one a fantasy and this is the view fabulous
had a lovely little happy hour and this guy wants to know what's going on. <laughs> he wants to have a look in, in the fantasy mobile. <laughs> Having a little sniff around. Sniff at the rubbish bin. And we got some over here. Oh, he is going for the rubbish bin. They're pretty tame. Oh, did he? Oh, beautiful. Oh, this place is awesome. My goodness. This is fantastic. So tonight I'm doing my famous nasi goreng for my lovely sister and brother-in-law and we've had quite a bit of happy hour so we'll see how this goes. We've had a downpour and I'm now Nigel No Friends under the shelter but they've set up a little shelter by the fire. This should be a good night. I've made a couple of nasty, well not nasty, they're they're nice margaritas and uh, everyone's feeling quite good. Beachcomber Holiday Park has a lot to offer. They have this indoor room when the weather is inclement. They have this awesome outdoor pizza oven area um, and a camp kitchen. There's also the camp kitchen inside and there's another one around the corner here of the deck. Um, yeah, really great facilities provided, really clean um, amenities as well. Just come to the malt man and trying a few different beers and it's pretty cool you can get pizza chips and calamari Very good. and it's only like a two minute drive up from beachcomber's caravan park so if you like antiques and old wares this is just um, around the corner from the brewery not a bad shop lots of mysterious items So we found the four wheel drive track um, that brought us down to this little spot that we walked to yesterday. Looks awesome. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a little camp here and watch the sunset. Saw some mullet jumping before. It's quite sheltered from that um, wind that's picked up this afternoon at the beach. Perfect.
As the afternoon rolled on, the wind became really strong. I'm really thankful we had our wind break. Also, the corner that we were in was pretty protected. We were only one lot of two campers that were still outside. Everyone had retreated inside their tents, cars or caravans or headed up to the camp kitchen. Anyway, I do love our wind break. It, I made it for WA, but it looks like we need it on the east coast as well. So guys, how do you feel about this weekend? Oh, wonderful. Fantastic. So relaxing. Yeah, and um, even though it's... Malt Man, Steve's got a new shirt. That's right, we went to Man Brewery and Steve's got a new shirt. Awesome, we'll we play Contract and that's a pretty cool game. And the backdrop is actually quite spectacular. And we have... This windbreak. <laughs> Everyone else is inside their caravans except for us. So <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Lovely and toasty and look at that colour behind. Beautiful. So the sun's just set, the moon's rising and we're cooking cocktails tonight. Served with cold floor and Lebanese bread and garlic a yogurt. Yum, they smell amazing. So I made these at home put them in a press hot bag and they've been in the fridge. So it's got cumin, coriander, paprika, onion, an egg and breadcrumbs. And then just make them into a sausage. I've decided with my cocktails to remove the skewer stick. You don't need a skewer stick. So when you're feeding a crowd, get some Lebanese bread, cook some cofters make a little tossed uh, coleslaw and make up a garlic yogurt and there you have it. So this was the aim of the game, squeezing your marshmallow between <laughs> your choc wheatens and make sure, the make sure the chocolate's yeah. on the inside, yummo, well, yummo, time for dessert. Gone.
So on the way home, we stopped in at Badala, went to the cheese shop and we bought some really delicious ice cream, licorice, lemon myrtle, uh, salted caramel, so many different flavours. You can also buy some amazing cheese, which we did as well. So what have you got there? Some licorice yeah. and salted caramel. Yellow. And I've got Go Wild Lemon Myrtle. And I'll go the licorice as well. Yummo. Very good. So sadly, we're on our way home now. And we've just stopped at Milton to go to the uh, Heritage Bakery, 1870, to pick up a pie or sausage roll, something like that.